So that's a Catholic church that many Christians are celebrating being miraculously saved by God from the Maui fires. This is Kiero Fuentes, whose 14-year-old body was found charred and burned by his step-parents lying in his bed with his arm around his terrier dog, Dexter. Kiero and Dexter died at home alone because the parents were not able to get from their jobs home to save them. And Kiero is one of about a hundred known dead while hundreds more are still missing in Maui. Don't get me wrong, it's cool that the church is still standing, but when we say things like, God saved that church, or when there's a bus crash with 19 people dead and one person preserved, and that person says, well, God must have still had plans for me, we need to think about what we're saying. Did God not have a plan for the other 19 in the bus? Many around Kiero and Dexter have to be thinking, why would God save a church building and let a 14-year-old and his canine friend burn to death. The Bible says to mourn with those who mourn, but people aren't going to let us mourn with them and help walk beside them in hard times when we carry a belief that says there is a guy on a throne somewhere in the cosmos who decided not to save your child from death today, or to save all kinds of children across the world from all kinds of horrible things. I do believe there is something divine out there, and we can connect with it and co-create with it and walk with it and bring goodness and love that even transcends ourselves to share with others. But if we continue to celebrate the headache that gets healed while a person sits in a wheelchair nearby, People just don't buy the story anymore and certainly don't buy that your God is a good father because no good father would make a knowing choice to save a Catholic church and let this boy and his dog die.